everybody, today's video is Lacey Peterson. I was trying to get this video done when, uh, I want to say Elton John, John Wayne, Elton John's not dead yet, so I can't do him yet. When John Wayne came by, kind of cut into the video. So Lacey was great enough to come back today and do a video. She came back in the daytime, which was unusual. So you'll hear my bird chirping in the background at times, but it's in the background and you don't, it doesn't, it's not all the way through the thing. So the answers are really, really interesting. I think you're gonna find it fascinating. I was really like, wow. I wasn't expecting it. Some of the answers are like, holy cow. It's worth listening to the end because she gets really kind of uh, more talky at the end about a few things. So enjoy. Oh, and don't forget, if you have any questions while you're watching, write them down, put them in the comments, and we'll see if she talks again, we'll get to them. And I'll see you on the other side. For best results, wear headphones or earphones. Hi, Lacey and Connor. Welcome here to uh, my YouTube channel and to everyone who loves you and are waiting to say hi to you and would like to um, welcome you. First off, everyone would like to know if you're okay and how you're doing. Just would like you to know, you know, it's been quite a while, but we still think about you and we think about baby Connor and we'd like to let you know that. The first thing I'd like you to know is that my bird is tweeting in the background and maybe my dogs will bark, but since we're doing this in the daytime, that's going to happen. And I hope you're okay with that. People would really like to know um, if it's okay. First off, I want to know, have you crossed over fully into the afterlife and are you happy where you are? And I assume Connor's with you, of course. And, um, question a lot of people had is when little babies go to heaven like Connor um, do they age or do they stay little babies for eternity does it get a chance to grow up and be a little kid and maybe even become an adult so what age is he about now if he's grown up I I think I told you this before, but I don't understand anything you're saying until I play this back. So I really don't understand your answer. If you said he's still a baby, could you tell me what he's doing? Or if you said he's grown up, could you tell me about how old he is and what he's doing? <laughs> Um, what are you doing in the afterlife? Can I ask you some difficult questions? I know that you're apart from these right now emotionally, but people are very curious about it. Is it okay if I ask you these questions? Okay, um, Christmas Eve, I think it was, that you passed away. Uh, could you tell us what happened? Everyone assumes that it was Scott, your husband, who killed you. Could you confirm that that's true? Um, could you tell us 
what happened, how it happened. Did he break your ribs? They said you had two broken ribs. Did you know that he had a girlfriend and that he was cheating on you? He said that he had told you at the beginning of of December that he had had a girlfriend and that you quote were okay with it. Is that true? I don't know if, if you saw what happened after your death, but can you tell me if you did what happened? What did he do with you after your death? Did he really tie weights around your neck and arms and legs? What do you think about him getting the death penalty for what he did to you and Connor? What do you think that the fact that he's getting retried in April and maybe, um, you know, get a new sentence or God knows acquitted? What do you feel about Scott now? What do you feel if you could talk to him right now? What would you tell him? Of course I would. Is there anything that we can do to help you? Anything that I can do to help you? What is it like where you are? Uh, and have you forgiven? Have you forgiven Scott for what he's done? That's a good question. <laughs> Do you have anything you want the world to know? Do you have anything you want to tell the world? Anything at all? If you'll forgive me. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask. Was Scott ever abusive to you, either physically, emotionally, or verbally, before any of this happened? Was there any hint that he could be a violent man? How exactly did he kill you? Can you tell us exactly how he killed you? Yeah. 
Did he say anything? Did he tell you why he was killing you? Did he say anything while he was doing it? <laughs> Do you think it was premeditated? I think it's time, if you don't mind, and I feel the energy's right, that I should let you go and let you go back to the higher realms where you came from. And I really would like to thank you for coming down and talking to us. All of us really care for you a lot and are very, very pleased that you came down to talk to us and helping us understand what happened. Because these type of things are very, very hard for us, the living, to understand why anyone would do this to such a beautiful person and such a wonderful little child. Do you have any last words for any of us, some words of wisdom or anything else you'd like to say? Say hello to little Connor for us, or big Connor, depending on your answer. Goodbye. Well, what'd you think? I thought it was a really intense session. I was surprised that her energy was so smooth and calm, yet her words seemed to be so angry. And even as she was talking angry words, her energy was still smooth and calm. Unlike when I do Shanann's, she's just so angry in her energy. I think that more of this was storytelling and memory than actual feelings. Um, very strange. Very, very strange. So, tell me what you think. And make sure to thumbs up. Make sure to ring the little bell for notifications. And, of course, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell all the world to subscribe. Uh, tell everyone. Hey, and tell your dead relatives to subscribe because, you know, they're the stars of the show. Anyway, see you later, guys. Love you. Bye.